And now it links again to those. Yeah, dude. Sorry, man. Uh, internet went down. I gotta, I gotta get this shit fixed. I think my router is outdated. Um, I didn't have a lot of problems in the beginning of me streaming in general, but uh, yeah, it seems to be a problem lately. All right, so. We're going to England for some scissoring, scissoring in England, across the pond. Yeah, Scissor Man did cut my stream. He was like, dude, I can't have them find out who I am. Jennifer is missing too. It can't be missing. The castle, hurry. Oh, God. So here we go. The castle. Last scenario. So this is, this is the game. We about to beat this shit. Thanks again, dudes, for hopping back in. I don't know who all's back in here. I see Scott and Josh. What? Poor girl. Don't worry. I'll help you now. What? Where are we? Where is everyone? What's that costume? He told me. He told me that if I kidnap you, he will give you to me. Oh boy. This got weird. He told me to dress up like Scissor Man and kill people. Wait a minute. Jennifer. No, no, don't come any closer. <gasps> oh, so Harris is really not Scissor Man. Although they were setting it up like that. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh boy. Yeah, so with all of that shit in the way, she still makes it through the door. Yeah. Jennifer, all creepy and shit. Oh. This is crazy. That's the star plate. Star. Compass and sun. I'm just going to remember that. Oh boy. 
is this? I have a candle. Holy shit. Lots of scissoring went on here. Yeah, what is this? A keyhole. We're not gonna mess with that. I'm going to get out of this room. to go. I just want to check everything so that I'm not uh, missing out. Um, we'll go back in the room that Scissorman first appeared in with Harris. This room. She doesn't like to read. Ah. Oh. Yeah, so I'll have to give it to one of them. So, in the one room, there's the keyhole. So these are the only rooms that I can go in as of right now. Okay, I didn't get to see all this. Stair key. There we go. All this shit. An old tattered Bible. So it doesn't look like I can do anything in here. So I'm going to go use the stair key. Yeah, we're going to go use the stair key and get into that room or go to that room where the uh that dude's in that grinder thing real 
Wells, you are going to go into the grinder. Just to think, these graphics at the time were like no other, dude. This room isn't like any of the others. I hear the scissors. So. I've also found that whenever you're in chase like this. Anything that's not important. You can't click on that. So if there's an item that you can stun him with or something like that. Yeah, dude, these... These, are gra these graphics were something else, man. all these doors I think I might be stuck no. man since I've changed what the graphics look like scissor man looks awesome dude creepy ass looking dude Oh boy. Yeah. Yes. Now I gotta figure out where the fuck I'm at. That door was the wrong one. So I'm gonna go in this door. It should lead me. Uh oh, somebody's laying here, it looks like. Yeah, Professor Bart. You, Jennifer. Professor Barton? Wow, that was interesting. Professor Barton, are you all right? I'm not injured. This is an extremely important experience for me. Oh, so you're just out here zoning. Here I am, at the site of the murders. 
a very, very intriguing. So yeah, this is the castle from the first game. Professor Barton, I found something I would like you to look at. What does this say? Hmm. It is in Latin. Yes, it does remind me of that room, Josh. Very much so that you had to put the fucking fertilizer into the bag. Or the bag into the, uh, to that, um, watering mechanism. Below that Below is that written. Nha e shu. What does it mean? I don't know. It means to open a door, just as it says. <laughs> but it doesn't say which door. A door. This is great, dude. <laughs> It means just as it says. To open a door, you dumbass. Alright, so. I think I know where I'm at now. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, Scissor Man was coming after me. Assume that these are all the borrows. Oh, come on, dude. This door to the right here has a big lock on it, I see. Um, I'm stuck. I've gotten that action button down for sure. She's going in that door. So we're back to the chase again. Nice, dude. Okay, so I'll have to say that this is probably the most interesting part of the game so far. Alright, I gotta get the fuck out of here immediately. I can't go that way because he is that way. She gonna hide and throw that shit at him. Oh, it didn't work. Get 
to hide. stop during this part. So there's stairs there with a door blocking it. him down this time. He has been after me for a minute. <laughs> oh my god, dude. God. And I think that's the room that I have to go into. I haven't been to any of this shit. I don't know where I'm at now. No, no. Oh. Yeah, not doing that again. Oh, she's in the red now. Four. What's in this room? I want to go to that middle door yet. Oh yeah. Hopefully I can go back in here. There's something stuck to the bottom. I don't need to... I'm going to go through this door. Okay, so I think this is the room that has the weird... F yeah, it is. It sounded hollow. I do remember this.
I remember vague parts of this game. Oh. We're going down here. So I got a key. I can't go behind here. All right, what's the key that I got? Stair. Wait. This isn't Chris's blood. Dude, did I not get a key from that fucking barrel? I don't know. This is all very weird. Alright, so I'm going to go back through this door. What's up here? So far, it looks like he's killed Beth. Oh boy, what's happening? Shit. It's Nolan. Jennifer. Nolan, you're alive. He's alive. Where is everyone? I don't know. They're all on the floor, as you can see. Scissor Man attacked us, and everyone scattered. <laughs> Nolan. You've hurt your leg. Just a cut. Just a I'll cut. I'll be alright if I rest. <laughs> Nolan, 
I'll go. By yeah. yourself? I'll come back after I've found and killed him. Oh boy. That's not creepy. What was that? <laughs> you saw them too? I've seen them a few times already. They are oh, probably boy. the ghosts of the children killed here. I don't get so it. Many. Which door did I just come out of? Okay. I don't know if I want to... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's all these rooms and he's just chilling in the corner of that one. What the fuck, man? This game is so weird. Alright, this door is locked. We gotta check all this shit. Ah, this is over top of that. Yeah, I have nothing that I can use. I don't know what that door spell is for. I think I know where this is. Yeah. Yep. Alright guys, I gotta figure this out now. <laughs> Watch Scissor Man will be in here. Key. The library key. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. it is. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious to shoot. All right, let's go back to this door that's locked and see if this isn't the library. Yeah. Okay. 
kind of what I thought. Where are many books on the occult? Maybe this is where that candle goes? Yeah. Right path when choosing among the three. So oh, the candlestick does not work here. All right. Oh, so you can put that star plate on things. At least seen where it would go, but... There's one book missing, she said. Hmm. Bane. Um. All right, so it looks like we need a book to move forward there. Well, wait. That is the way I need to go. What is this room? Okay. Don't know where I have to go. This was the way that I was trying to go last time. No one is gone.
where I put that star plate. So I tricked the game somehow. Now he's. Oh no. Oh, I thought it was that one room. wasn't hard enough to figure out where you have to go you have this asshole chasing you around so that's the fun part about this game I don't think there's any reason to go down here, but I'm going to. what I use this door spell for.
I don't know where I use this. And I need to figure out what, uh, so I have the stair key still. That's, that's something I may want to check out, those stairs. Um, if I go this way. Um, I'm trying to figure out where I have to use this. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see that door before. So we're going to check that out. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Scissor Man is in there. Upstairs. I don't know. Yeah, I don't.
So I found the note. All right, I grabbed the the plate. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to figure this out. Yeah, I talked to Professor Barton about the door spell. Leads to the kitchen. Go through the kitchen and into the kitchen storeroom. Click on the floor to be told about it. Oh, I already did that. Alright, so I need to, um... I need to go back into that storeroom that I was just at. The room that I got killed at, basically. All right. All right. So we got to get out of here and we got to go back to that room that has the that I had to use the oil can on. Oh my god. How am I supposed to be fast enough to get out of here? stuck in the library, so... Scissor man. I've, I've gotten away from him a couple times, but there's not like another room that I've been able to go into that uh, I can like hide from him or something. Oh, I'm stuck. second floor. Oh, I think this is the doorway. No.
back to this master bedroom here. Maybe I can dodge him in here. Here we go. It's, it's very similar to what you can do in the SNES version. Alright, so now that I'm not being run by this fucking dude. I have to find that door. That has the stair set going up. I don't know where that's at. And I don't want to keep running into Scissor Man. I know that. Uh. to leave here. But this room has to be off of one of these. I don't remember where. There, it says something about going down to the sitting room. Look at the portraits on the back wall. said I would find out about it. This is that stair set. I doubt I'm going to be able to do anything in here because I wasn't able to last time. Yeah. You cannot, you literally cannot do it. There we go. I got to get out of there. Duck him. No, why would you do? Oh my god. I don't know why he's going up here. Dude. 
I didn't have to worry about Scissor Man so many fucking times. Alright, so what? I know that this is. Okay. So this is the second floor part of that. And then he's coming from that side. I don't know any other places to hide from him either. I'm gonna go back to this master bedroom. I've already done. Can I hide in here? Yes. Alright. That should let me fucking dodge him for a second. I gotta really figure out. I think it is that way. Um, down here. Because that's the master bedroom. The one to the right is the fireplace room that has Tim in it. I got the matches from it. This is not it. Is it in one of these rooms? I'm so confused. Okay, so I didn't find I it it said something that it'll talk about a map. Okay. So we're going to go out this way. Oh, 
Hopefully... Yes. This is the room that I haven't been able to do shit with because every time I come down here, Scissor Man is fucking chasing me. Thanks for stopping in, Seth. For real, dude. Appreciate you, bro. This must be a rope. Yeah. The rope on the door to stop the bats from coming in. Oh shit. Oh, uh, it's Helen. Oh, Jennifer. Oh. Are you all right? Yes, but my head hurts a little. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm dead. This is hallway three. Okay. I need to go to the study room, it said. All right. Got to get this key. So we want to get this rope here. Okay.
Said that I need to talk to her twice. Are you all right? Oh, Jennifer. Oh. Are you all right? Yes, yeah. but my head hurts a little. Is there a way out of here? I don't know. But I do know one thing. If we don't kill Scissorman, he'll kill us whether we get out of here or not. Right. That seems to be in the thing so far. Jennifer, there must be a way to destroy him in this mansion, and I must find it. Is there a way out of here? Oh my god. I don't know. But I do know one thing. If we don't kill Scissorman, he'll kill us whether we get out of here or not. All right, so... Jennifer, there must be a way to destroy him in this mansion, and I must find it. Alright, it says that I have to go back to the main hall. Oh, I know where I have to go. No, no. Oh, not here. I gotta go back to the main floor and go up to that open doorway up at the top of the stairs by the master bedroom and all that shit. As I go in there, go in the first door to find yourself in the office or study type room. Ignite this room to go into the next. Ignite this room. Maybe the matches. Oh. Click on the top of the closest bookshelf. Okay. I have to go into this room. There we go. That's what I missed.
Alfaro's family genealogy. Thirteenth generation. All right, so I got to go back to the main hall and then go into that room that has all their portraits where they were talking about the generations. Um, Is this it? Yeah, I think this is it. No, it's not it. That's not the one with Tim. I don't think. Didn't get long without him. I'm gonna go back into this master bedroom and hide in the closet. stabbed through it. That's hilarious. to leave this room.
This is fucking annoying, dude. get away from this. Wow. Gotta be fucking super quick. No, you can't even get away from it. Unless it'll let me go back down there, but even then...
Oh, I had it. <laughs> and shit, man. All right. I got to figure out don't know where these paintings are or these portraits are now they're in our they're in one of the rooms with the fireplace All right, so we go back to the library up here. was right all along. Under the fountain. go back downstairs
All right. There we go. Oh boy. It's Edward. It's Edward. So, it was you, Edward. <laughs> I guess the secret is finally out, Jennifer. But my name isn't Edward, it's Dan. <gasps> you don't mean... No! So, you remember me now. Jennifer! No! Come here, you scissor finger. <laughs> Just try it. Good. Just try it.
I did it. Crazy shit. Um, probably not a good ending. Obviously. Probably like the... Oh, it's a D. Or a B. Sorry. I was expecting to get a D. Well... So I got two of the eight endings. Uh, I'm happy with that for now. Um, probably will come back to the Clock Tower series at some point. Um, like I said, I have all, I have all of them on here, and I just got Night Cry, which is supposed to be related to the series. That shit was crazy. I don't know how I would have figured all that out. I don't even remember where I was stuck at back in the day. Yeah, it's not... Uh, like, how would you know to click on that plant to do the... It, it's just really weird. Overall, though, I think it was a solid game. Um, Clock Tower is crazy. So, yeah, I don't know what game I'm going to play next. Um, there is really uh, shitloads of shitloads of games that I have that I could play next. Um, like I said, I could do, um, I could do, uh, a bunch of, there's a bunch of PS1 games that would be great. There's a bunch of PS2 games that would be great. I think I'm going to stick with horror based games for now. Um, on on the deep dive, it's kind of why I did the, you know, the walkthrough of Ghostbusters and stuff like that. So horror related titles will be um, what I stick with on there. I think that uh, Clock Tower, that Clock Tower in particular. Uh, while I thought it was a solid game, uh, definitely had bullshit parts. Um, maybe, you know, I mean, a lot of people say that the first is the best in the series, and I, I probably wouldn't um, argue with that. I think the first is a solid game. Uh, yeah, I, um, I gotta figure out a way to play some more, I, I have PS2 titles that I can play for sure, I don't think I'm gonna stick with the Clock Tower series, it might be something that I come back to, um, but yeah, I'll figure out something next, uh, I have a shitload of PS1 games. Play through the medieval games would be cool at some point. I don't know if you guys remember those games on PS1, but 
the medieval series was cool. I want to play through the original Silent Hill at some point because I've never beat that game. Um, so I'll definitely probably do that at some point. And I mean, I could do, I could, I could even play more modern titles, you know, uh, I, I kind of would like to switch back and forth depending on whether it's a game that would like dead rising would be cool to play through on stream. I, I really like that series, especially the first one is, is a really solid game. Um, Bioshock is another one that I'd play through. Especially Infinite. I fucking love Infinite. Yeah, Silent Hill for sure. Um, and I'm going to play the... Uh, I also plan on playing the enhanced version of the... Uh, the, P the PC port of Silent Hill 2. I have the enhanced edition mod and... That game looks great. Yeah, PT was... Dude... PT was pretty terrifying to me, man. That that game was pretty fucking crazy. Uh, the demo, anyways, obviously. But yeah, I have a ton of a ton of games that I could play through that are all horror related, or you know something. Uh, there's so many games. And uh, I need to get better emulators, honestly. Like, RetroArch, for some reason, isn't recognizing any of my uh, Game Gear, any of my um, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Games. None of that shit um, is being recognized. So I'm going to try to, at some point, maybe uh, figure out how to put some better... Or just go in and get the emulators for those. Maybe that's the route I'll take. Um, yeah, exit Steam here. Yeah, PT, I, I don't know, dude. I think it was gearing up to be um, a crazy Silent Hill experience. And it's weird to me that we got left with Death, Death Stranding, which I haven't played. And, you know, a lot of people bag on Hideo Kojima for his storytelling, but I was a big, big fan of Metal Gear Solid on PS1, so I, I thought that that game was great. I thought the story was great, and I'm not even big on, like, military shit or, like, action-type things. Unless it's like 80s or 90s shit. Um, but yeah, I thought that Metal Gear Solid was great. Um, I don't know. I don't know how that would have turned out if we would have gotten a full... What they were going to call Silent Hills. And it... Are, it was also going to feature Norman Reedus. So it was like, it's like really weird that, um, we ended up getting death stranding instead or death stranded. Yeah. I haven't, uh, I haven't played death stranding. I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure. But yeah, I haven't played it, and I probably should check it out at some point. I'm trying to get my uh, Game Boy Advances and all that shit now. Um, yeah, I would, I would love to have seen what, uh, 
we could have gotten in the way of all those games, you know, like there's so many games that got canceled, dude, that I feel like would have been made solid, you know, they would have made solid titles. I'm looking for, I don't see a turbo graphics emulator. Maybe that's what it was, is I was just missing all these. Maybe it's just because I was missing the actual emulators, but yeah. Um, I have played, I don't know if you've ever played it, Josh. Uh, there was a game that was supposed to be released on... Um, on uh yeah it does look like my game gear game showed up yeah they did all right so that's all it was um let me see if this game boy advance shit works maybe that'll do it um but there was a game that was supposed to be released on ps1 it was a fighting game called thrill kill back in the day I definitely remember seeing uh ads for it in like electronic gaming monthly or whatever and the PlayStation magazine that was out around that time um but I do I do have a a playable copy of Thrill Kill and have played uh plenty of Thrill Kill and it would later become uh the Wu-Tang Clan game the engine for the Wu-Tang Clan game, and that would turn into the Def Jam games. You don't remember Thrill Kill at all. Yeah, it was... Uh, maybe I'll show you that real quick, dude, since we're on here. We're already in. Uh, and I don't plan on continuing the any more of this... Uh, stream as far as clock tower goes all right throw kill that's weird it's not it's not showing up in my i know that i have it though um let me see here let me see if i can manually open it I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that, dude. Let's see if I can't load up Thrill Kill here. It's a crazy four player. Um, Four player uh fighting game. I didn't load through I wouldn't load through that. I definitely have a copy of it though, and I have played it, but I don't know if I played it through RetroArch might have been through the actual uh oh here we go it's reading all my games right now so sorry about that in the Yeah, this is uh, basically, it was a finished game. 
um, and they just didn't, they just didn't release it because of how violent it was, or the the characters in it are just really fucking weird, dude. I can't believe you've never seen this game. I'm stoked to show it to you then. Yeah, it's it's hard to yeah. Definitely 90s extreme. It's hard to explain this game. Yeah, this is the these are the characters. Now, back a while back, I had a burnt copy of this because I always wanted to play this game. And uh, you had to do some weird button combo in order to, like, and hold it in order to get the ROM to work. And there wasn't all these cutscenes. Uh, so it wasn't the, the actual full leaked copy didn't get released until like later on after the playable just a playable version where you had a menu and but but this is the complete game we'll just play arcade mode but yeah you you fight against three other people and you can you can actually, uh, you could run this four player. Um, like I said, this would later on become, uh, hold on here. Let me turn this down some. Uh, this would later become, uh, the Wu-Tang Clan game. Uh, which in turn, the Wu-Tang game was violent. I I really liked the Wu Tang game at the time because it was something different, but uh, yeah, it started here. And there's different versions like of each character. So Cletus is like a Cletus is like a hillbilly dude, cannibal guy. I don't have all the characters unlocked. We'll go with we'll go with this uh, Hellraiser ripoff, Tormentor. But yeah, this game uh, was never released. Uh, this is a leaked version of this game. He's like biting my foot. Yeah. So now you can execute a finisher here. And then it'll be one less character. So it's basically the first person to get their special, and then you can uh, you can press and hold whatever button you want to do a finisher with. So each character has like four of them, I believe.
another one. Yeah, you can see they're trying to all get away from me. Jeez. This is, um, this is actually PS1. It was a game that was supposed to be released by Virgin. Um, that was on PS1. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this was uh, supposed to be released on PS1. I definitely remember seeing it in a PlayStation magazine when I was younger. Um, it looked something kind of similar to Mortal Kombat and uh, like Bio Freaks to me, which Bio Freaks turned out to be an absolute trash fighting game, but um, it was kind of up there for me for wanting to play the game. I think that's why it was memorable to me. Oh, this mammoth, dude. Oh. Mammoth is going to get his special. Oh, this is not going to be good. Uh, Dr. Faustus got his special. Uh, he got me. Yeah, bio freaks, dude. But I remember seeing bio freaks, and for some reason, I, I just loved the look of that game, so that was the reason why I got it, but... Yeah, it turned out to be a trash game, dude. But yeah, I think that's why... Because, it, like, during that time, I was huge, huge into Mortal Kombat 4 on PS1. I don't know why, but I loved that game. But yeah, um... Thrill Kill just looked super interesting to me. And you can unlock players and stuff like that. Power levels. Downers. Oh yeah, you, there's movies for each character. I don't know what any of my... Okay, so that's counters. Gotcha. Crouch and block. So. I'm gonna... I'm gonna roll with oddball. Maybe, uh, wild the imp, dude. <laughs> Let's roll with the imp. It's like a fucking, like some dominatrix Dr. bullshit. Dr. Faustus. I always thought that was a cool name too when I found out, uh, 
this that character in this game. I was like, that is a great fucking character name. Yeah, yeah, dude, it's... Tormentor is about to get his special. I'm gonna try to get mine first. Oh, no. Yes. So the, you know, this isn't even their main fatality. You have the these ones, and then you have the the full one once you beat. Yeah, see, like I got a kill bonus for that one. Wow, she is roasting me. This is not looking good. Oh no. Yeah, so you can kind of see why this game didn't go anywhere. But yeah, it would later on become the Wu-Tang Clan fighting game that's uh, similar to this, but I feel like the fatalities are way more... I, I haven't seen a whole, whole lot in this game, fatality-wise. Um... Violent. 
Yeah, I haven't seen a whole lot in the way of fatalities or the special ones in this game, but they're nothing like the uh, the Wu Tang one. The the some of those fatalities on that game are great. Shit. I don't know how the counters work. If it's just something that uh, you just have to time the counters. There we go. He tried to grab me and we got out of it. You just have to time them when they grab. There we go. try to take him out because he's harder I countered that. Oh boy. Oh boy. But yeah, I know you can unlock different characters on here. I just have to really get good at this game. It's a it's a crazy game though, dude. Definitely uh very 90s. I think this is probably one of the few unreleased games that I actually have.
I don't remember if uh, the Wu Tang Clan game played like this in a sense of like once one person got off, then the other ones kept fighting. I don't remember how theirs worked. I haven't played it in a long time, but I I I played the shit out of that game for a while. Yeah. Like, it's just weird to me, there's no, like, there's no life bars or anything, it's just basically, like, first person that fills their special meter up. I got this. Just a psycho. Jeez. Well, AMF might get this one. out of this one. Kill bonus. Thank you. 
Jeez. Oh boy. Oh boy. Not good. Yeah, this game's crazy, dude. I definitely would love to play more of it, but I um I just never have delved really into into this game as far as like uh what all you can unlock and like I said, I know that they have their own um I thought I had a file save, but I might not. No. Failed to load save state. I don't know what. Okay, I see what versus mode is. Team mode. Practice. Yeah, um, I'll have to show you. I don't remember, hold on, before I start it. Alright, so I believe... I believe... I found the code that uh, you have to have the code in the Wu-Tang Clan game in order to um, basically play the game with blood and... Um, fatalities so similar to the Mortal Kombat code but obviously it's an own its own thing oh yeah the code don't remember where you enter this code. I think it's at the beginning. Oh. Triangle, circle, X, X, square, triangle, circle, square. Yes, so this is what, um, this is what, uh, um, throw kill turned into. Which, 
don't get me wrong, great game. I really, really actually love this game. It's been years since I've since I've played this, but yeah, um Thrill Kill would become this. This is a great fighting game. I'm just gonna skip all this stuff because I just wanna get to the uh to the game itself. Yeah, parental locks for sure, dude. I don't know why it's... Oh, I picked story mode, that's why. Here we go. Yeah, so it just doesn't go into a big thing on it. Yeah, so you can see, I mean, it's legit pretty much, pretty much the same thing. It's uh, a, a bit different in the way that it plays. Actually, I kind of like the fact that it doesn't go into the uh, into that uh, that mode where it just. Um... Oh boy, this dude's whooping on me. Wow. Just, it's just as cool of a game, really. And I know there's all kinds of characters that you can unlock. Same thing, practice mode and all that shit.
same, yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, ODB. Where is ODB? Oh, right here. Yeah, some oh dirty bastard. Thank you all for kicking it with me today, dude. It's been a solid stream so far. I uh, probably will stop here shortly because I got to get some shit going today. We gotta get some laundry done today. Dirty was crazy, dude. What, they robbed this master, dude? I don't get it. You have egg on your face, my people. Do you forget, Riza? Let me see, uh, let me see if... Hold on real quick. Okay. So we are running uh, better than normal looking game. Surprise attack to not be taken by surprise oneself. You must study harder if you are to become a Wu Tang master. I will never be able to beat you. I'm just not good enough. Ridiculous. Does the mighty oak rise overnight? Your roots are strong, but only by constantly reaching for the sun will you grow above the rest of the forest. Yes, master. Uh, he fights drunken style.
Um, I don't think Wu-Tang Clan still exists. Um, they kind of went, uh, they kind of started to go their own way. Um, I know that they released an album not terribly long ago and they only released one copy of it and some dude paid ridiculous amounts of money for it. And that's just, I mean, I get it, but... Dude got me last time too. Jeez. I gotta stop this dude. been a while since I played this game too. I used to be really good at this shit. And it's a fighting game that's like, you know, it somewhat is based on, you know, luck of not missing hits and learning how to use block, uh, timing grabs right. got me again. Yeah, I, um, I'd have to get really good at this game again, man. Fighting games around this time, dude. I, I used to be really good at Mortal Kombat 4. Like I said, I played the shit out of that game. But yeah, that's what, uh, 
That's what um, Thrill Kill would become. Uh, it's just crazy to me that uh, they didn't release Thrill Kill. Uh, I think Thrill Kill was mainly based on characters and you know the noises that the female characters make in game. Um, but yeah, I always thought Thrill Kill um, would have been a cool game to see you know, just released and, uh, I'm glad that I got to check it out because I definitely knew about it back in the day. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be it fellas. I definitely appreciate you guys stopping in again. Um, I will probably be back on some point this week. I know I got the podcast to do next Sunday with my dad. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, I will leave you guys with some with some music the and um, we will catch up next time next time I'm on I think I don't, yeah like I said I think I'm going to do a stream next week um, probably maybe start some more um, another deep dive game uh, I think that's going to be the move I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to get into yet uh, I do want to do Silent Hill at some point, but yeah. All right, guys. Well, I will catch you next time. Peace.